This is my tutorial for the making of Perry. I sampled the piano in two ways, and those are the cornerstones of this piece. Here's the first way. I chopped up this four measure phrase in Ableton Live. You can chop up a clip by right clicking it and selecting Slice to New MIDI Track. This slices your recording and puts the slices on a drum rack for you. In this case, I created one slice per measure, and I end up with four samples on a drum rack that I can now play with the MIDI controller. Later on, I play this drum rack using my Octopad. I try to avoid hopping on my computer while making live recordings like this. I'd rather keep my brain in a musical space and not have to worry about technical stuff. To my knowledge, this slice to new MIDI track feature is not automatable. I'm pretty sure the Ableton Push has a button that does this, but I don't have a push, so I came up with this workaround. Here's the keyboard maestro macro I wrote to do this for me. It's triggered when I start the piano loop using the soft step. It clicks all the buttons for me so I don't have to stop making music in the moment. It just takes some time to set it up beforehand, but then you're good to go and it can do this whole thing really fast. Here's what it looks like in action. The second way I sampled the piano was using the OP-1. One fun thing you can do in the OP-1 is route an LFO to any parameter. In this case, I routed the LFO to the sample start time. This is a great way to get loads of variation in your sample slash sequence and it makes for a lot of happy accidents. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I just hit these two main points, but if you have any questions about these or any other part of the piece, feel free to hit me up. You can watch the full video of me recording pairing here.